I am here to tell you guys what you are doing wrong in Pet Simulator 99 and why you are not opening these beautiful huges that you see behind me. In the past two days alone, I have personally opened up two zebras of my own. And I'll show you how you guys can too. So I know for a fact that these methods of opening huges and giving you the best possible odds in order to get the best pets in the game are accurate. In this video, we will go over the things that actually do affect huge chances and very common misconceptions. That, along with these tips, I have also done the math about the best way to actually open the eggs themselves and going over various methods that people have talked about and why my way is the best way to do it. So if this video helps you out and you end up getting a huge, please comment below what you ended up opening like the video, subscribe for more. I'll be doing more content like this as things update, as the meta changes, and you're going to want to know what's going on. So without further ado, we'll get right into it. All right. So first we'll be going over things that actually do increase the chances of you getting a huge pet from one of these eggs. As we all know, the best upgrade for getting better chances at getting huges from eggs comes from the huge hunter exclusive shop upgrade. While this upgrade does help a tremendous amount, it is not necessary and I'll show you why in this video. I'll show you the free to play way to get huges just as much as people with this pass. Besides the huge hunter pass, we also have the huge hunter exotic book which increases your chance at getting active huge pets by 25%. While 25% doesn't sound like a lot, these books add up tremendously, and you can stack them in each of these slots to increase your chances further. While having multiple of the same enchant diminishes the effects of each additional book, it is still beneficial to have as many huge hunter enchants to get you the best possible odds even if they are small increases as many huge hunter books as you can get helps out realistically though i would not have a whole setup of huge hunters i would have up to five of these and then two shiny hunters to increase the chances of those huges being shiny and then one lucky egg because this will help you to get the better odds for the regular egg so you can get something like the imp which is obviously not as worth it as a huge, but they still do sell for a lot with the rainbow version of this imp currently selling for over 500,000 gems alone. So I think it is still worth it to have at least one of these enchants in your roster. I think it is important to note that this Lucky Eggs book does not increase your chances at getting huges. A good free to play method of getting a whole set of these huge hunter books would be getting alternate accounts, leveling them up, and then opening the 750,000 eggs required to get a free one of these books. So if you do that on five alts, you can get five of these huge hunter books, which will give you the best odds possible to open huges from these eggs. One of the most important factors in you getting a huge pet is how many egg opening upgrades you have. So we'll head over there right now and look at the upgrades and I'll talk to you more about that. All right, so we're here at the egg machine and a lot of people often put off upgrading the egg opening upgrades, but this is the main factor that will lead to you getting more huges because you can open an exponential amount of eggs each night with each upgrade that you get from here. So I just upgraded my rank to 14, so I haven't got these two new upgrades quite yet. Um, but as you can see, I can open up 77 eggs at once uh, combined with the 15 from the game pass. These egg opening upgrades are crucial. Each one increases your chances of getting a uh, huge while opening by a great amount. If you really want a huge pet, I would highly suggest using your gems to max this out immediately to give you the highest possible chance. All right, so on to the math portion of this video. So I see a lot of people when they're opening their eggs, they'll turn on this auto hatch feature and they'll just come over here and they'll start letting it go. 
While this auto hatch feature is really good so you don't have to keep manually clicking the eggs, this is not the only thing you should be doing while you're opening. The best way to open these eggs is by using an auto clicker while it's opening with auto hatch on. So once you click this, just turn your auto clicker on as fast as it can go and it will speed up the process of opening eggs by at least 25%. As you can see, when you're using the auto clicker, the animations of these eggs opening is skipped a little bit. Therefore, you're able to open eggs faster and therefore give you a better chance at getting that huge that you want. So I've seen some discussion about a method that people think is quicker, but I will show you why this is not the case. So what people like to do is they'll get this E to be in the same position as the opening eggs thing and they'll turn off auto hatch and then let their auto clicker go like this. And by doing this, it appears that some of the animations are skipped. But according to the math, this method is just as fast as using the auto hatch feature and letting the auto click run. Another reason I don't like this method is that when the server restarts, your position gets reset and sometimes it doesn't keep opening eggs which if you leave the eggs running overnight like you should, this will cause you to lose a lot of egg opening time that you could have had. So the method of just using the auto hatch and auto clicker has less risk and it's the same speed so you don't lose any results. In summary, the best method to use is just using auto hatch with your auto clicker running to get the best results at opening as many eggs as possible. Now, we are going into the math segment of the video. This part's a little boring, but I'm sure some of you will appreciate it. I'll just be going over the results to show you how I got that 25% faster number and why you must use an auto clicker when opening if you want to get the best results. All right, so here we have the math. There's a lot of different stats here, a lot of times. Right here is the start of the frame in which I click the egg in each of the clips. Uh, so this is basically just the starting point. Uh, and then the important information is really right here, which is the difference when the second egg is done compared to when the first egg was done. So as you can see here with the auto clicker, it took 3.86 seconds in the first clip for the egg to finish opening. And then in the second clip, 3.81, then 3.93, 3.86. And the average of this number was 3.87. So that's the average time that it took to open, fully open the eggs and let the animation go with auto clicker on. Next we have the data without the auto clicker, which took, the first clip took 4.39 seconds, then 4.8, 4.38, and then 4.81. Uh, the average of that data was 4.6, uh, which gave the average time to open the egg 19% faster with the auto clicker on uh, just the first egg. Even more significant as we go on, we have the differences between the eggs after the 10th egg, which starts to get really juicy. As you can see, this is the average time for each egg without the auto clicker compared to with the auto clicker. And in this test, we can see it's a 25% quicker time on average after 10 eggs to use an auto clicker while opening. I have some data here from the special method that I showed you in the video, uh, where some people claim it is faster. Uh, but with the test that we've done, it took the same amount of time with this method as it did for the slowest time with auto clicker. So to be fair, I think it is just as good, but there's no reason you need to do this method. I would just stick to auto clicking with the auto hatch on because it's just the safest method. There's no chance like when the server restarts, you're going to be back in the same spot opening eggs. So there's no risk at all. So I just sticked with this method. All right. So if you use this method of auto clicking, opening the eggs, as well as get the max amount of huge hunter books you can using the method with the alts, as well as upgrading your egg opening to the max that you can, 
you will be well on your way to get as many huges as you want. If you can't afford it though, the huge hunter pass is a major help, but it is not required again. I hope that this video helped you and that you are going to be able to open as many huges as you want. Keep in mind, it does take a while. Huges aren't supposed to be open that often, but with this method, I'm confident that you will be able to open at least one huge a day like I have been with the zebra pet. Again, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below about what huge you want to open. With that, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.